hello to all our viewers. Due to Russian aggression against our lovely and peaceful Ukraine, we had to pause the release of our monthly digest of Digital Health News. But there is so much going on in Digital Health, so we decided to get back on track even though the war hasn't ended yet. So here are some of the most interesting news happening in April. First of all, we'd like to mention how telemedicine came to rescue hundreds of patients who can't get a professional medical consultation because of war happening in Ukraine. Our company, BK, created a telehealth platform doctors4ua.com, where all Ukrainians can get medical help by professional doctors from all over the world free of charge. Please share information about doctors for ua so more people can get help. Plus one in the list of digital health unicorns. AI-backed remote monitoring and digital therapeutics company Bioformis raised $300 million in Series D funding, boosting the company to unicorn level with a valuation of $1.3 billion. The company plans to invest in clinical trials to develop digital biomarkers and expand its digital therapeutics pipeline. Alio announced it earned FDA 510K clearance for its remote monitoring system that collects data on skin temperature, auscultation, or internal body sounds and heart rate. The system, which received the green light in late March, is made up of the Smart Patch Wearable Sensor, its bedside hub, which collects and uploads patch data, the Alio Medical Cloud that stores that information, and clinician facing portal. AI-backed clinical data startup Mandel raised $40 million. The startup offers AI products that make sense of unstructured clinical information, like EHR data, so it can be used for research and analysis. The startup said it plans to use the capital to hire for its AI and engineering teams. Fujifilm develops AI tech for predicting Alzheimer's progression. A clinical trial has shown that it can predict AD progression with 88 and 84% accuracy in American and Japanese patients respectively. Great results indeed! That's it for today. Stay safe and stand with Ukraine.